Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to officially play Android games on your Windows PC. Now, this isn't the older version that we used to use with the Amazon App Store from the Windows Store. This is actually official from Google and it's known as Google Play Games. Right now, it is in beta, but anybody can actually download the application, sign in, and start playing Android games on your PC. And one of the best things about this is it doesn't require crazy specs. Basically, you will need eight gigs of RAM, at least a UHD 630i GPU, which is pretty low in, and a four core or quad core CPU. So there are a lot of PCs and laptops out there that are gonna be able to handle these games just fine. We've also got keyboard and controller support. We can change the resolution, remap our keys here. And yeah, this is officially from Google. So the games that are listed here, you're not gonna get banned on Android for playing these on your PC using Google Play games. I've seen and tested a lot of different ways to play Android games on PC, but this is the first one that's official from Google. And to tell you the truth, you can still install this application on laptops with only four gigs of RAM. It's gonna be kinda hit or miss depending on what game is gonna run or not. Some of these lower end games should run just fine with only four gigs of RAM. This is not an end all be all situation when it comes to playing Android games on PC. If you wanna get the best experience, you wanna get a good tablet or a good phone, but if you don't have access to that, then this might actually allow you to play some of your favorite Android games pretty easily. It's a simple process, and one thing to keep in mind is you will have to sign in with your Google account, so you're gonna be kind of signing in to Google Play Games here with that account just to get access to everything. Installation and setup is very easy, and we're gonna go over that in this video, but before we get started, I do wanna mention that this video is sponsored by Newegg. Whether you're looking for cell phones, monitors, TVs, hard drives, Newegg definitely has you covered. And right here at their new at Newegg section, they've got a lot of great deals on some DDR5 RAM for your new PC build. Lots of fans. You can go to their new at Newegg section, sort by price, category, and you can even find just the in-stock items right here. Usually when I'm looking for parts for a new PC build, I check the in stock. I personally don't wanna to have to wait a few weeks for something to get in the stock. No matter what you're looking for, as long as it's tech related, they've probably got you covered. And one of their newest features over on their website is their custom PC builder. And you can actually build with AI right now, but we've got the popular ranking section over here on the right hand side, number one in the popular ranking, but we can also check out lower price builds. So this one happens to have the RX 6600 with the Ryzen 5 5500 coming in at 636. But if you're looking for something a bit different, you can use their new build with AI section. So what I'm gonna do is just type in a few keywords here, like low cost PC for playing games at 1080p. Go ahead and build with AI. And now we've got three different suggestions here. And with each one of these, we can totally customize it. So for instance, if we didn't want to include an RTX 3060 with this, we could swap it out for something a bit lower end, like an RX 6600. It'll probably bring that price down a bit. But this is a really great feature that I personally haven't seen on other websites. And this will point you in the right direction if you're looking to build a custom gaming PC. So if you're interested in checking Newegg out, I'll leave some links down below. Getting Google Play Games on PC is really simple. First thing we need to do is head over to the Google Play Games beta website. I'll leave a link in the description. Now, what you wanna check out is the system requirements. Wanna make sure that your PC can handle this and it doesn't take much at all. At least Windows 10 version 2004. Solid state drive they do recommend with at least 10 gigs free. UHD 630 GPU or iGPU. So you don't need a super powerful GPU for this. This is just the Intel UHD 630 graphics, which don't put down that much power. Four physical CPU cores, so you need a four core CPU and eight gigs of RAM. Back at the top, lots of great information here, features, and we can explore the games that they have available. But basically what we wanna do is just go ahead and download the beta. And with this, you will need to sign into your Google account so if you're using an Android phone, signing into that same account is probably gonna be your best bet. I'm just gonna go ahead and drag the installer on my desktop. Go ahead and install. Once it's installed, we can go ahead and sign in with our Google account. It's gonna bring us over to the sign in page. Once you're signed in, just make sure all of your information is correct. Choose look good. Go over the terms and privacy. 
And now we can start installing and playing Android games on our Windows PC. Over here we've got the Home section. We've also got a Library and our Explore section. You can do a search if you need to, but we've also got the Genres. So checking out, let's say, Role Playing. Scroll down here, find what you want to play, and to tell you the truth, there's way more games than I ever thought there would be, at least at the time of making this video. There's quite a few here. We'll head over to Racing, and in order to install any of these, we're just going to go ahead and click on it. We'll get the big green Install button like we do on our Android phone. Install. It'll let us know when it's done, and then we can start the game up. Once it's installed, we can choose play, and keep in mind, these three little dots, we can always uninstall the game directly from here. While we're in a game, if we press shift and tab, it'll bring up our in-game settings. We can remap our controls, so if you want to use a controller, you can map it to the controller. I've just got a keyboard connected to this PC here, but most of these games do have remappable controllers, and a lot of them are already set up for game controllers. Go back. We can also change the screen resolution, 960, 540, 1280, 720, and I've seen another game with a few more options here. I guess this is all Horizon Chase has given us. And of course, we can exit full screen or exit game completely from here. But yeah, really easy to get this up and running. And one game I actually installed on my laptop was Genshin Impact, just to see if it was the Android version. And to tell you the truth, I don't think it's the Android version of Genshin Impact. I actually think it fetches the PC version because we do have controller support with that version. And if you play the game on Android, you know, we still haven't got native controller support on our phones or tablets yet. And yeah, it definitely looks like the PC version here for this one. So I'm not sure how well this would run on Intel UHD graphics. Kind of wish it was the mobile version, given that those games usually run at a lower resolution and might run much better on an iGPU, but it's here if you want to try it out. So yeah, I've been messing around with this for the past couple weeks on several different laptops and desktop PCs, mainly mini PCs with iGPUs, and there's hundreds of games that we can play here. Now you might run into a few games with a lower end system that just don't run well, and that's kind of the nature of the beast. But it might definitely be worth a shot for some people who want to play some of these games on their Windows computer. And I'd love to know from anybody out there who's using a very low-end CPU or GPU combo what games are running, what games aren't running. So if you go through and test some, let us know in the comments below. It might be really helpful to know this information so, you know, other people with a similarly spec PC won't run into the same issue or know exactly what to expect when they're getting into it. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. I'll leave a link to the Google Play Games Beta down below. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments. And like always, thanks for watching.